issues, strategic issues in the Middle East, China, before I turn uh, to the audience for, for your questions. Um, you're here at a tumultuous time in the wake of the drone strike that took out uh, Soleimani uh, uh, in Baghdad, outside the Baghdad airport. Um, this is dominating the discussion, the debate here. Uh, what comes next? What will be the Iranian moves? What's the U.S. strategy? Can you give us a little bit of perspective from Athens? Greece has historically had very strong ties throughout the Middle East. How are you seeing what's unfolding in Iraq and Iran? Uh, what does this mean for Greece? What are you bringing to Washington, to President Trump, on this message, this issue? Well, first of all, we, we're allies with the U.S. So we, we stand by our allies um, through, through difficult um, uh, times. Uh, and uh, you know, this, I understand this particular decision was a decision which was taken by taking into consideration what is the U.S. national uh, interest, and we stand by that decision. At the same time, one needs to be fully aware of the fact that there is concern in the region, broader concern, about a possible uh, escalation, uh, and I think efforts should be made. Not that a clear statement was made by the United States um, regarding the red lines that it is willing to draw to move towards uh, moves that will de-escalate the overall uh, tension. And I hope that this is a message that is uh, received by, uh, by everyone. Yes, we've had uh, close ties uh, uh, with the, and we still have very close ties with the uh, Arab world. And we consider ourselves our, an, an honest power broker in the region, but we don't forget who our allies are and where we, where we belong uh, geopolitically. So um, uh, you were right to point out, and Fred pointed out in his introductory comments, that um, uh, a lot of things that were taken as, uh, as, as granted, uh, um, as constants, uh, are no longer there in this, uh, in this highly, in very complicated uh, world. But what, uh, what I can say is that the fundamental, the foundation of the, the post-World War II, you know, global economic miracle, uh, but also a miracle of peace and stability was the transatlantic relationship. And that no matter what happens, um, the dialogues between Europe and the U.S. need to be, need to be kept uh, um, uh, open. We may have our uh, occasional uh, disagreements, uh, uh, but uh, one should not forget uh, how important this relationship uh, you know, has been um, for, for everything that has happened since the end of the Second World War. So um, 